So our loose definition, not the true definition, was that a mole is the number of protons or neutrons needed to make one gram. Our strict definition is that a mole is the number of carbon-12 atoms needed to make 12 grams of carbon. So, understanding that definition, we introduced what was called the molar mass. And we can find the molar mass by looking at the periodic table and finding the atomic mass. The atomic mass tells us how many protons and neutrons an atom has on average, and if we have a mole of those, then we will have that same number of grams. I now want you to understand how that's used, so I want to go through a couple of examples. So, here I have a question. It says, how many moles of lithium are in 5 grams of lithium? We're going to start tying several things together here. When you learn how to do unit conversions, I taught you to do so by what we call unit analysis, following units. We're going to use that all throughout chemistry. And here, in switching from moles to grams or grams to moles, we're going to use that unit analysis method. We're basically going to treat this like a unit conversion. So, start with the number that you know. So, in this case, we know that we have 5.0 grams of lithium. We want to know how many moles. So if we think to ourselves for a minute, we know that we want to convert from grams, so we want grams to cancel, to moles. To do that, I need to know how many grams are in a mole. We call that the molar mass, and now because we understand what a mole is, we know that we can get that by looking at the periodic table. So if you find an entry for lithium on your periodic table, you'll see that on average, lithium has 6.941 protons and neutrons. Therefore, one mole of lithium will have a mass of 6.941 grams. We call this the molar mass when we read it as grams per mole. So we know here that we have 6.941 grams per mole. Grams cancels. So when we do this unit conversion, we're going to end up with moles of lithium, which is exactly what we want. So we take 5, we divide it by 6.941, and without rounding, we get 0 0.7203567. So in our original measurement here, we had two significant figures. In the average atomic mass recorded on the periodic table, we had four significant figures. Two is less than four, so by our rules for multiplying or dividing, we're going to round this off so that it has two significant figures. So I would round off my answer here to the second significant figure. And I would say that we have 0.72 moles of lithium. Now, I want to look at a second example here where we are converting from grams to moles. So here's a second question. How many moles of beryllium are in 27.5 grams of beryllium? Again, start with the number that you know. 27.5 grams of beryllium. Think about what you want to find. We want to find moles. So we want to get rid of grams and we want to get moles. So to find how to go from grams to moles for beryllium, we go to our periodic table. Beryllium has a molar mass of 9.01218 grams per mole. Grams will cancel. We'll get moles. If we divide 27.5, by 9.01218, we'll get our answer. This has three significant figures. This has more than three. So we're going to round our answer off to three significant figures. And when we do so, we get 3.05 moles of beryllium. So if you understand the concept of mole, it allows you to relate something that you can measure the mass of an atom, the mass of an element, the mass of a material, to something
something that you can you would like to count, the number of atoms, or in this case, the number of moles. So here we've switched from grams to moles. 